Hi, it's James Mitchell. Here's another video on workshop software. I really hope you get some great value from it and you enjoy it. All the best. Hi, welcome to another update about workshop software. Once again, we've released a really cool new feature into the system and we're gonna show you how that works. So what this involves is searching products. So I'm gonna jump into the job center and I'm going to just open an invoice that I've got currently working on. What we're gonna do here is if we go into the plus and we go searching for a product, if I, for example, type in 195, you'll notice that it brings up some 19565R15s. And in this instance, we've got multiple of these products. In fact, we've got more than what's displayed on the screen. So there's a new button here, which is this more and add product. So I can add a product or I can see more products in here and I'm gonna show you how both of those work. So if I click on more now, what this does is this now shows me a list of more products. So in this instance, I've actually got about eight or nine of the same tire, but they're actually from different brands. So this is really cool for tire places, but it doesn't have to be for tires. It could just be you wanna just do an, a, a little bit of an extra search on the products. So in this instance, it's really easy to sort of quote the customer. You can see that there may be 15 of the Kumos, there's eight of the Bridgestones and four of the Goodyears, you know, and, and the prices and all that sort of stuff. So what we can do is they might want the Bridgestone because that they feel that that's the best product. They can go select and it goes and adds that onto the actual invoice itself, all right? The next, the other thing that we can do is actually add a product as well. So let me just show you how that works. Let's say I put a product number in that doesn't exist. If I now click more or add product, it will actually jump straight to the create new product or add product screen in the system because it knows that there are no products to search. So the easiest way for you to create a new product is actually type in the item code, press create product. So I'll just show you that again. So type in the item code as an example, go add there and it will go and automatically show you that screen and you can go and add the product into the system. So that's really simple. So got two functions there. You got the add product, which of course we've always had, but it just works slightly differently. Um, but, and we've also got this really cool searching functionality type in the, you know, first few characters of a product, we can go show me more and it gives you more. So that's an, another really cool thing. If you happen to be there, you can actually go create new product. If you actually wanted to go and create a new product, you can do that too, or you can go back to products. So you can flip between those two screens in the system. Really cool for tire places in particular, but again, if you're doing just searching on products and you wanna maybe have a little bit more search. So if you were searching for say, brakes or something like that, and let's say there are pages of brakes, you can actually go through pages of products in here as well. So um, really cool new feature. Again, just that little extra thing that makes your business a little bit simpler, a little bit more efficient, and just makes workshop software a little bit easier and better to use. Hope you love it. Thanks for your time.